You know love when you love with flaws and imperfections, with integrity and no ill will, which is where our 5D collective is at. Why? Well, the 5D collective are self-aware, accountable, and regulating people. And so self-help, personal development, and spiritual awakening guidance, whether content or consultant stuff, it supports those who do emotions. It's called the path to enlightenment with love, choosing love, straightforward human love narrative. Okay. And so with that, when you have a good therapist who has made you aware of your childhood trauma, if there's any, and those trauma charges, we all have the basics. But when you have become aware of yourself lens, then you're ready to be in our lovely 5D collective. If you want to keep doing an emotional high, if you want laundry, there's a Zen master for you. And with that, some repair and rupture actually helps to create more resiliency and tronic within an infant. So the securely attached human being will know of how ruptures can be repaired because they will have had that happen. And they also know that we can have continuous attunement, but we can also have misattunement. And it is important to come back together so that people who don't know how to be functional adults or who are challenged with being functional adults, well, we're going to talk about that uh, in a minute. The less emotionally attuned or in-tuned person will be in denial, uh, defensiveness, uh, they justify their emotional reactions, okay? And this is where we tend to notice this within males. I don't do gender stereotypes, but I am reading my notes and relational mindfulness from lovely Terry Real. He's the one who is sharing this, I believe, because it's with Janina Fisher, uh, who shares how no continuous harmony is because of people who don't know how to, again, repair ruptures. So, once you have had that first year of life with secure attachments, you have a whole self. But that doesn't mean that in your lifetime things cannot happen to where you will lose that and then you can reclaim it and stuff like that. Okay, so self-help supports, again, the people who want to help their self to continue to rise and to be in that inner and outer well-being, which is a restorative embodiment self-life. So you know love when you are in your securely, securely attached body because the oxytocin gene hormone is on. You also know love when you are able to be around others and they present to you the flaws and imperfections that you are, all of them, and you can be there with no ill will and also with integrity. This means you don't take offense. Now, when I was a teenager, as I got older, I learned how not to take things personally and it kept growing. Then I don't take things personally to the point where I, I laugh at people, not at them, I should say differently inside of me. So I explore like Krishna Leela, the depths of the profound with curiosity and with laughter. Now that's being playful because my inner child adult, she lives right here. So you can be here too, which is why we're always on, not just sometimes. And our prefrontal cortex is why we're functional adults. Even as a teenager, I was able to be a functional adult because I'm a Jacob personality. It's because I have secure attachment also. And I don't fear inadequacy of teenagers or grown-ups. And adaptive children are not people that I fear inadequacy. I hope they all can find a good therapist so that they can learn what love is at some point or another. So on that note, here's what a functional adult uses, prefrontal cortex. And what's on the agenda is to have a nice conversation. Okay, so life partners, it's functional adults because they know how to love with flaws and imperfections. So you get to be all of you and I get to be all of me. And that's the song, isn't it? Take all of me. Why don't, yeah. So if you don't take all of me, well, there's a door right there. So it's, it's cool. Peace out. Thanks for the time. It was an honor, a blessing, and so on and so forth. We don't learn to play a game to protect ourselves. The boxing gloves, the mantles, superheroes, those who identify with words. Yeah, they're all, again, Elsa Journey people. 5D mystics, we know that we don't have superhero powers. We just have the relationship of this lovely Akash, Grace. And that's because of our lovely, for me, Jesus. Jesus got me here. And then some got here through Buddha. And others got here in other ways. And it's a beautiful plane. Woo-woo spiritual people get accepted by our lovely sciences, the true sciences. Because they know that mystics, not only do we believe in that which is invisible, we understand and experience it. But furthermore, the sciences, the true ones, they also believe in the invisible. Because they don't know everything. We're all married to Shiva, those of us who are in the 5D. We know about God the right way. 
not the way of middle ages, medieval times. So yeah, when, when someone says to you, yoga brings demons out of you, they're an ignorant human being. They don't know of Peter Levine and how muscles, bones, and tissues store trauma, but they don't believe in it. They'll say, I don't believe in the updated sciences people. And no, I'm not a flat earther, but I am a person who knows the truth. And you'll say, huh, are you sure? Because I thought you were teasing the flat earthers two minutes ago. I'm pretty sure that by you actively in your conceptualization of a left mode, making a justification, where was that? That's right. I was just reading it. Ah, Denial, defensiveness, justifying emotional reaction. The less emotionally in tune. Oh, yeah, that's also a non-bilaterally integrated person. So the minute that I get called stupid is where I, I don't have interest in continuing because I actually have had those types of conversations where I'm like, I, you don't know everything. And then they keep getting more upset. And then you don't know why because you're not doing adaptive child behavior. So here's what adaptive child behavior does which is why it explains the Cusco attitude of any human being who begins to get upset at you. And that's why I just disengage. I'm like, okay, it's time to go, Maria, because they're not having a good time, and we want to have a good time, so let's leave. So you know love again, with flaws and perfections, and my 14-month-old, they and I like to have only the playful ones with social engagement on. If you're in a bad mood, I'm leaving. Not leaving you for good. No, those are the people who abandon each other. But I'm going to say your mood is really off-putting right now. I like love because it lifts me up. Your oxytocin gene hormone isn't on and your whatever it is. And I have nothing to do with that. And yeah, I don't want to be around you for now because I'm regulating because I'm a nervous system. So you technically are affecting me. Like when people want to point out to me when I was smoking cigarettes after being brainwashed from commercials that I'm polluting your air while cars pollute air too. So, you know, we can always twist things if we wanted to, to the extent to try and prove a point. And the fact is, though, I am a nervous system and I am attuning to you because that's exactly what happens. But I won't be around telling you how your mood is really affecting me because then I get called the woo-woo lady who has social anxiety. No, I don't. I just need people's nervous systems to stay away from me if they're in a full-blown sympathetic because you're really <laughs> too much for my insula that is also extremely active and there's a whole way that i could explain all this which i'm not going to but thanks dr dan that helped a lot he explains to me how the insula can grow and i was like okay now i know a lot about our lovely expanding energy body spiritual mystics come on over for your 5d1 i can explain to you a lot of things in a good way meaning keep you grounded in your humanity so you can love human beings and be a part of the human herd that you're already by the way a part of because really <laughs> Even if we are part of the past or the future, you know, staying grounded is what's amazing. When you're in a flow state all the time, going with the flow. Whose flow? Your flow, my flow, your heart. My heart, meaning you be yourself, I be me. That's what it means to country love with flaws and imperfections. And yeah, that's what partnerships are. Nobody drags you to the floor. That's unless they're physically, which don't let that happen. So again, uh, denial and defensiveness when justifying emotional reaction. Men seem to be fitting this bill a lot more. Uh, and they don't repair what happens unless they get a mediator or they become self-aware of their emotions and stop acting like a three-year-old with a 16-year-old who's really being, again, defensive and annoying. And that, let's say the least, a closed human being brain. They're, they're really uncomfortably uncomfortable, I'm just saying, because it's not intellectually stimulating or emotionally stimulating, and it's not physically stimulating at all. So let me prove I'm right. Let me control you and make sure you agree with me the way I want you to. Let me make it about myself and everything that I put on a pedestal and all these names and labels, whatever it is that they're putting. And if you don't, now I'm going to get pissed and I'm going to withdraw sex or words or do all this silent treatment stuff. And then I'm going to do it again. The uh, thing about withdrawing and, and, and withholding. Yeah, so some of us, uh, we don't find that hurtful. We don't even notice. Like when I think of explanations that I've heard and then I think back, I'm like, huh, I wonder if that was that thing. Huh, I wonder if that was that thing. Huh, I won't know. It's okay though. I'm a functional adult and they're not the love of my life. So it's cool. There was a door, they left and that's good because when you have functional adults, true love, what we do is, hey, here's what happened. Here's my story. Here's how I feel. Here's what I would like to do. Are you up to negotiate? <laughs> Let's talk, shall we? So integrity, no ill will. We chit-chat and we conclude with building 
homes together. That's what secure attachment relationships, romantic and not, do. So come join us for another episode later on. Tune in for more.